Today I'm going to play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past for the Game Boy Advanced and I'm going to just kind of breeze through it. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely not going to finish it. I'm just going to play it for a while and see what happens. Oh, okay. All right, so this is a map, so we know that there's going to be more stuff happening around this. Ooh, uh, it's lots of pixelation, uh, really nice colors. Oh, wow, the, oh, we're five minutes in and it's already going to be some kind of a, a sacrifice, I guess. Oh, Philip, I'm going out for a bit. But there's no need for you to worry. I'll be back by morning. Oh, that... <laughs> they're gonna die. If, if, if someone's like, don't worry, in a game, they're dead. I don't want you leaving the house until then. Oh, I'm gonna leave the house. And wait for me to return. Right. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I'm going out with <laughs> with a sword and, and a shield. I'm sure you'll be fine, Dad. Or, or mother, or whoever. You got the lamp. Press A button to light torches and navigate the dark. I don't know which one. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I can light torches. Of course, I'm. <laughs> the first thing I do when my dad tells me, or whoever my parent tells me, to stay inside is I just go outside into the winter and jump off the cliff. Okay. All right. Uh, what's going on? I don't. I don't know where to go. Th this one thing that I really like about I'll give 100 rupees to the man who finds the descendants of the seven sages the king All right, I want 100 rupees. I like I really like the sound of that I'm in the dungeon of the castle. So see this is this is amazing. I, I think this, this is great game um, design like we were kind of given the freedom to go around and uh, in about you know 30 seconds we're already kind of on the right track so so obviously it was like oh okay so yeah you can go anywhere but really all you can do is go uh, to the castle and we did um, but it, it, it feels right okay what's this hey you're not allowed in the castle son go home and get some sleep are you my father Hey, okay, like you should be home. I agree. Yep, yeah. I shouldn't be the one rescuing the princess. You're, you guys are soldiers, right? Oh yes. Okay, one thing that I like about Zelda and games like this is how uh, you know they you have like the game verbs you know, that for example here I can lift things and it um, works on many many um, items in the game uh, and the game kind of feels like um, you know ev almost everything can be changed even though it's like really small things right like there are bushes that you can lift uh, you can also try to lift, for example, this boulder, which I understand is a boulder, I don't know. Um, but uh, that also is part of the puzzles, right? Like, so for example, here there was another bush, uh, which was, yeah, which was surrounded by these weird, uh, I guess, stones. And uh, that kind of gave me an idea of like, oh, maybe I want to pick it up and it, it worked. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> B1F. What's going on? Philip, is it you? I thought I told you to wait at home. Oh, of course. That's my dad who left me at home. Uh, said there's nothing to worry about. All right. Let's see what's going to happen. I suppose there's no escaping destiny. Here, take this sword and shield from me. All right. So we're five minutes in, uh, my dad is dying and uh, is giving me his sword and shield. I'll teach you one of the secret sword techniques used by the Knights of Hyrule. Hold the B button to focus power in your blade, release it to unleash the power. Okay, I must, so I'm a kid, right? There's a bunch of soldiers everywhere blocking my path, but 
I, the kid, have to rescue the princess. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. uh, can take the throne. Ooh. Okay, I'm almost dead, uh, but I got a boomerang. Obviously, important in uh, dungeon battle. You got the big key. Okay, this is the master key of the dungeon. You can open many locks that small keys cannot. For example... Oh yeah, hello. Thank you. I had a feeling you were getting close. Yes. God, we should go quickly before the wizard notices us. I know secret path, but we must go to the first floor to reach it. Let's go. Alright. First, loot. I'm sorry, but... Yep. Yep. Alright, I hope you had fun. Uh, I like this. I like old games. The cool thing about old games is that they are very simple and not complicated at all. And that, that, that's the thing, right? I'm gonna... Like, because of market pressures, a lot of the games that you can play today are weirdly overcomplicated. They have like little economy, economies in them, and they, they are... Um, they have these like long tutorials and uh, and that's sometimes really cool and you want that but sometimes just like being able to like go and uh, swing a sword I think is just fun and it, it's so casual you don't need to uh, you know lock yourself in a room for three hours to get anywhere or something I, I was able to as a small kid go from sleeping in the morning and having a dream to rescuing a princess in i don't know um uh, half an hour or something i don't know anyway uh, that's cool i think that it's it's so weird right with the with the games because like the if you came up with exactly this game with this kind of graphics with this kind of like gameplay and this level of complexity uh, you basically can't sell it today right if you try to sell it um, then people would not buy it because it's already there it's already there they can play it almost for free uh, uh, there's a thousand other games that work better and have a lot more things going for them have better graphics and everything so you just can't do that you you have to if you want to sell a game you have to add a bunch of new features uh, or something new that people will buy right and th that's what i call market pressure and the, the unfortunate thing about that is is that uh that means that some games are basically not possible anymore unless you want to make them free right imagine if this was this is kind of a terrible example but imagine if this was about um, like bread if bread had this imagine that every five years like a new type of bread comes up and you know and the newest bread can slice themselves and they like sing a little song and every time you open them or whatever uh, and that's like the the new bread right and everyone is like wants that new bread obviously um, and you if you want to make a bread like that you have to spend a hundred thousand dollars in research and development to to make sure that that kind of works right and then if you want to just make a normal bread and you make it and you can you still put a lot of effort in it and you put it outside and or i mean in a, in a market uh, people will look at it and they'll be like is, does it slide itself like is it does it sink when i eat it no it's it, it's a it's a bread and people will be like well i'm not gonna buy it i don't want uh, to buy it. i can i will eat it for free <laughs> i will eat it for free if you want to uh, or maybe like maybe maybe i will watch some ads while I eat your bread but for sure I'm not going to buy it so therefore people are either going to be like okay so I'm just gonna bake bread 
just for fun um, in my spare time and sometimes some I will be glad to see some people uh, eat my bread see see them eat my bread uh, or they're like okay so I need to stop everything and I have to uh, get a lot of money and make the, the new kind of bread right um, and to be honest you know sometimes it's it's nice to to be able to to play a, a simple game to get get back from this terrible uh, metaphor and just play something that's that's kind of fun and, and easy to understand right uh, so anyway so so I recommend uh, playing old games to uh, to everyone.